What's up YouTube, Mike here with another video and today I wanted to talk about the AirPods. As you can see, I got them in my ear. Um, I think they still look a little goofy, but to be honest, they really don't look any more uh, goofy, I guess, than the regular earbuds that you get in the box when you buy an iPhone. But um, I've had these now for about three weeks and they're still fairly hard to come by. But I gotta say, um, I'm very satisfied with them. My biggest concern with these when I got them was would they stay in my ears? Um, and I, the very first weekend I got these, I actually rode my bike. It was probably about a 30 mile ride. So it was quite a long time, probably three or four hours of riding. And these stayed in my ears, no issues whatsoever. And I was on a um, kind of uneven rough terrain. And the battery actually also lasted just fine. Apple advertises you'll get five hours with just the ear pods. And with the case, you'll get 24 hours of battery life. So, and the cool thing again about the case is as soon as I take these out of my ears and put them in the case, the case will charge them. So anytime you take these out of the case, you put them in your ears, you're ready to go. These things are 100% fully charged. So I gotta say, I really, really like these. These were $149. And I was lucky enough to get these um, at the PX. If you're not familiar with that, it's AFES. It's basically kind of like the military Walmart, if you will. But they literally only had one set. I happened to be walking by the counter and I saw them sitting on the counter and I snagged them immediately. But I've been really wanting to get my hands on these. And uh, like I said, I got to say, I really like these things. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a generation two coming out next year um, with some more improvements. But I honestly, <clears throat> don't know really what they can improve maybe other than the interface which will bring me kind of to What I don't like about these but first again what I like about these is the portability I haven't had any issues people complain that yeah, you're gonna lose these now Obviously if you're responsible you take care of your stuff You're not gonna lose it as soon as I always take mine out of my ear I put it right back in the case and the case goes in my pocket or it goes inside my little tech bag so if you're you have a habit of losing actual earbuds all the time or headphones, then yeah, you might lose these. But again, it just comes down to being an adult, keeping track of your stuff and being responsible for your equipment, essentially. But again, the good about this, the battery life. It's five hours, like I said, for the actual earbuds or AirPods itself, which I have I just don't listen to stuff for five hours straight, so I honestly haven't tested it. But on my ride, it was probably about four hours and I didn't have any issues with these whatsoever. So battery life is excellent in the little case. I've literally only charged it once and I've had this thing for almost a month. So I use them, I put them in the case and good to go. So like I said, I've worked out, I've done a P90X workout with these. I've done multiple runs with these and I did a really long bike ride and they stay in my ears just fine. Now, of course, based on you as a person, your ears may be shaped a little different, but for me, and I would assume for the average person, I think they'll stay in your ear just fine. I mean, the test is if you've got a set of old earbuds that you got with your iPhone, then and if those stay in your ear just fine, it's gonna be the same. Because really, all these are is earbuds with the wire cut off. So think of it like that. But, so again, battery life, I like. I love how it's Bluetooth. Now pairing this thing is a breeze. You literally just flip this open, you got your iPhone or whatever near you and it'll give you, it'll prompt you to pair it. And it literally is the easiest process of any device when it comes to Bluetooth pairing, if you're using an iPhone. Now I've only tried to pair it with an iPhone, not any other phone. I know you can use it with other phones, but obviously it's not going to be the seamless experience. So if you don't own an iPhone, there's kind of not a lot of point to buy these. I don't know why you would, but I've also paired this with my MacBook, no issues with my iPad. Now it's a little bit different pairing with your computer. I actually just had to go to the Bluetooth setting, find it. And every time I want to reuse it, I'll go to the Bluetooth icon and just connect, hit connect. And same thing with the Apple Watch. When I go on a run, I don't take my phone. I've got my music stored on my Apple Watch, which is one of my favorite features of the AirPods. And I pair them to my watch. So when I go running, I've got my AirPods and I got my watch and that's it. Now with the Apple Watch, again, you're going to have to not necessarily repair it every time, but you're gonna to have to tell it to connect to it. So I've already connected to it once, so it's saved. So on my watch, I just go to my Bluetooth settings, it shows my AirPods, and I just hit connect, and it connects. Fairly seamless, haven't had any issue with pairing whatsoever. So, 
to the bad. There's not a whole lot I really have to say about the bad other than the interface. Now this has no physical button on the AirPods at all. I mean, the way it works when you put it in your ear, you tap it up here at the top and to me it's about 75% of the time it works and it opens Siri on your phone and that's how you control it. So when you tap on it, it opens Siri and you tell We'll tell Siri, you know, adjust volume, next track, all that. And I think that's kind of a stupid interface. I don't like that at all. You can, to an extent, set what you want that tap to do. So you can make that tap go to the next track within your settings of your iPhone. But I found the best way to control these, honestly, is if you have an Apple Watch. So if I'm listening to anything on my phone or on my um, watch itself, I just control it with my watch and it's so much simpler and obviously on my computer I'm just using the controls on my computer so I honestly don't use the tap feature at all on these I'll either control it with my watch with the phone or with my computer just because especially if you're on a run or something and you're trying you're breathing hard you know you want to go to the next track you got to say hey Siri it's it's just I don't know I don't like it so that is literally my only complaint about these other than that I really like them. I mean, it's $149, so I think they are a little pricey. But to be honest, um, there's a lot of other alternatives out there that are more expensive. So for really once, the Apple solution is not necessarily the most expensive. So, um, But I really do like these. And honestly, I would highly recommend these if you're in the Apple ecosystem, especially if you have an Apple Watch and an iPhone, because controlling it with your watch is just seamless. It works well. And it's just really an overall good product. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on these or you pre-ordered them, I don't think you'll be disappointed, to be honest with you. And re there was actually a survey. I can't remember the damn company that did it. But uh, out of any Apple product, these actually have the highest customer satisfaction rating, believe it or not. So um, there you go. But anyways, if you have any questions about the AirPods, you want to know more about them, leave it in the comments below. I do read those and I try and respond to all of them. And again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please go and do so. Thanks.